My name is Annie Gray and I'm the author of From the Alps to the Dales, A Hundred Years of Betty's, which is, as you might imagine, the story of Betty's over the last 100 years. I think the most interesting thing that I learned about Betty's while researching and writing the book was just how many times it skirted disaster. Most people, I suspect, coming through the doors of Betty's think that it's always been like this, that it will always be like that, that it's a solid, stable thing, and in some ways it is. But the number of times that people either were so, so fatigued, they wanted to sell up, or uh, it could have gone bankrupt, or especially in the post-war era, I think, that real danger period. And then again, in the sort of mid to late 70s, there was so so many times when it just could all have gone so wrong and yet it didn't. If anything I would say Betty's came through those times stronger and more prepared for the future. There's a huge choice of characters to write about. I mean nearly everybody I wrote about was amazing but if I had to pick one person, I think it would be Ida, Victor's mum and uh, Fritz's sister. She was such an influence on Fritz, Frederick as he later became, and indeed of course on Victor. And she's one of those unsung heroes, so much there in the background, so calm and cool and collected and yet so funny. The letters between her and her brother and her and her son were just a joy to read. So for me, it has to be Ida Wilde. If I could go back in time and visit one decade of Betty's history, it would be the 1920s, when it all began, because I would love to see what Betty's was when it started, how elegant it was, how revolutionary in a way to have this continental cafe in Harrogate, which already had quite a lot of very interesting and upmarket cafes. I'd like to then sort of stay, if I can, until the opening of York, because, I mean, the Queen Mary replicated on the high street in York, what a thing. And on the way back, I might just dip into about sort of 1952, just so I can see how bad rationing food got. So if I could visit one decade, I'd kind of fudge it and visit three. <laughs>